Namaste, my beautiful beings of light. My name is Jeanette, and I am a spiritual being going through this ascension, awakening, embodiment, um, transformation, purging, <laughs> purging with all the beings that are awakened, are awakening at this moment with the rest of the planet. And, oh, wow, it's, it's a journey. It's a big journey. It's lots and lots and lots of cleansing. But I want to say thank you to those who have subscribed. Thank you for being, for just being. Thank you for at least taking time out to listen to my videos and if it resonates with you, it resonates and if it doesn't, it's okay. I'm good with that. At the end of the day, it's just about my spirit delivering the message that he wants me to deliver at the time. And today, oh my God, I have been going through lots and lots of purging, meaning that I'm facing a lot of, of my shadows, lots of past life shadows. Um, mostly I go through them in my dreams. I don't go through them in real, in the 3D. Um, lots of them in my dreams. Um, It's going back again on mental health. It's very important to me because I, um, I'm purging, I'm cleaning, I'm loving myself more than what I have ever loved myself before. With a lot of trauma that has been subjected in my life this, in this lifetime. I know I had past lives and where mental health was very, 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 very. It, it, it had an effect, it has an effect on the family. And if we don't speak about it, it can cause to other, other types of more severe mental health issues. But what I'm learning is that the mental health issues that I am, I had currently is more about the beliefs, the words that people have told me that I was in no good, I wasn't a good parent, I wasn't a good girlfriend, I am not worth um, um, people being around because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, oh. You know, it, it really, really, um, it hurts. It really hurts. It really did cause a lot of pain um, and lots of trauma. But I have to take responsibility for myself too and know that these beliefs that were placed upon us is not true. We were wired, like wired from childhood to adulthood to to now, to believe these words, systems, and I am taking ownership. I am taking control back of my life. I am beautiful being of light. God created me for a reason. And it wasn't to be badgered. And it wasn't to be taken advantage of. And it wasn't to hurt. And it wasn't to, for me to cause anybody any pain. It was for me to learn 
to grow, to heal, to shine, shine my light, find my truth, embrace my weirdness, <laughs> embrace my beauty, embrace my feminine and divine self, it's hot, my eye, Ooh. sorry, said I meditated and my, I'm hot. <laughs> I'm so hot, I just want to get naked. <sighs> I can't. Gotta stop. I'm back. I had to, like, oh, take a minute. I felt like lots of heat was coming. <laughs> no, I'm not medical, ladies. No. I don't own that. That's not who I am. I am a being that is fertile. She's fertilizing, she is manifesting, and I do not go by any doctor's diagnosis or anything at this moment. I am just releasing myself to spirit, to the universe. I am, don't want to have no attachments to the 3D world. I do not want any attachments to systems. I'm letting it all go. All go. I have a life I need to live and I need to live it freely without the government, without the state, without medicals, without anybody telling me what to do, how to do it, when to do it. No, I need to take my control back. I need to be free of all these systems. I need to expand. I need to grow. I need to become the very beautiful star that I meant to be and I meant to God has created me to come to this planet to be um, it's not about ego because it's not about ego it's about loving self it's about having power owning your power having confidence in what you do, being different, and not caring what anybody else says. Because at the end of the day, I have to answer to my creator. I answer to my creator. I don't, cre I don't answer to no man at all. Outside myself, I answer to no one but my creator. Plain and simple. I respect, I honor, I have compassion. But from what I have been going through in my spiritual awakening, I'm letting go. I'm standing in my truth and I'm being free as a bird. Free and releasing friends, family, anyone that is not, that is not of my highest good. I have to be in a space where my soul is taking me to. I am not guiding myself. It's not me. It's spirit. The creator and my soul not my mind we have to learn on how to go in within ourselves and find our truth and it's not you don't have to listen to me then you don't have to believe anything that I am telling you because my belief is my belief and your belief is your belief it's just about knowing who we are <clears throat> So, I know I posted that I brought some books, right? And one of the books that I brought was The Green Witch. Magic. Everything is magic. If you don't even, you go within and you'll find out what is magic. And I just want to just 
read a little bit about what is the green witch before um the green witch is a naturalist and herbalist and a wise woman and a healer she embraces the power of nature she draws energy from the earth and the universe she relies on natural objects like stones and gems and continue and con communes with the land she uses plants flowers oils and herbs for healing she calls on nature for her guidance and she respects every living being no matter how small so I always felt a connection with Mother Gaia. I always felt a connection with the animals. I always fe felt a connection with... Once I, I awakened, I I saw a tree just, just grow within my body. I saw my branches just way out there and under my roots. And I, I did speak to a family member about this. And it was very exciting. And I knew from there, I was like, there's a connection, there's a connection. I have a connection with Mother Gaia. Everybody has a connection with Mother Gaia. I love animals. I do not like anybody abusing animals. I do not like anyone throwing garbage in the waters, our oceans, pollution. I uh, so much that I see about how the planet is being treated. It it has an effect. It has an effect, but I know one day all this will be resolved. It takes time to to work with issues that at this moment is not important because there's other agendas that need that are taking place and believe me I'm not connected to <laughs> I don't even want to know I don't know what's going on outside I I don't I have to keep my energy very very centered keep myself very clean very connected with myself my path and my life my journey and just continue to love myself continue to learn about myself continue to learn who we are what are we here what is our mission what's our purpose what and there's so much more to come this is I feel like I feel like I'm really gonna give birth to a new me. I really feel like I am going to blossom like the beautiful butterfly that I know that I am. And I'm so excited. I am so so excited. I can't wait. But um my hair is not falling as much now so I know this is a sign that I believe March 21st is the beginning of spring so it's a new time so maybe that's when everything will something will happen but anything anyway my beautiful beings thank you for listening to me um, all the best in your ascension, in your awakening, in your embodiment. Namaste, and please subscribe to my channel. I love you, I love you, I love you. Unconditionally, namaste, namaste. Stay true to yourself, love yourself, unconditionally, no matter what.